So this is a PowerPoint um, just briefly going through the measures of central tendency. This is a common feature of all the different A-level and IB psychology specifications, but it may differ depending on which one you're doing as to whether it features at AS or in the full A-level paper. So measures of central tendency are descriptive statistics and typically they are measures of the average. Central tendency simply means what is happening in the middle of the data set. And there are three different measures of central tendency, mean, median and mode. The mean is the average and utilises all the different scores within the data set. And because it does this, if you have a particularly high score or a low score, these anomalies can affect the data. The way in which we calculate the mean is finding the total of all the scores and then dividing that by the number of scores in the set. So you have a little example here. So for instance, if we're looking at aggression in males, we have five participants. We add up all their scores. So five, add seven, add three, add 10, add nine. And that gives us a total of 34. And then we simply divide that by five, which is the number of participants. And that gives us the answer of 6.8. The median is the middle value. And the way in which we calculate this is to order all the values to start off with from smallest to large. So we're not ordering, ordering participant numbers, we're ordering the aggression scores out of 10. The problem is, is if we have an even number of values, we would have to divide the two middle numbers. In the example that you have below, you can see that we have an odd number of values because we have five participants. So we simply find the middle number, which would be seven. If we had an even number of values, if you can see at the bottom of the table, I've now added a six participant. We order them, so three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. The middle numbers are now seven and eight. We then have to figure out what is the middle number. So we add the two together and divide them by two, and the answer is 7.5. The final measure of uh, central tendency is mode and this is the most common value so we're looking for the score which is um, in the table with the greatest frequency if we have more than one score with the same frequency it would be a called a bimodal score and therefore we'd have to report them all and therefore the data actually becomes meaningless so in terms of the table that we have as an example all the scores here are occurring in the same range of frequency they all appear once so if we edit the data and we now have three scores of five, this becomes the mode. So that was a brief overview of measures of central tendency for A-level and IB psychology. Thank you very much.